Well, Richie, congratulations. Back to winning ways. It was the response you wanted. Absolutely. Um, our press, the tempo that we played was much more like us. Um, and I think that we, we got it right for the first 10 minutes. To be honest, Walsall couldn't get out of their, their, own, their own third. Um, we started off really well. We got a goal, which was not that we worked. And I have to give great credit to, to Joe and Charlie, our analysts, because you know we, they played a four in the last game. Um, at Salford and that was a game that I watched and what I didn't want to do is send two messages across to the players we've played against it enough a three at the back in terms of playing against Harrogate and um, Forest Green recently to have certain messages across when, we, when we're playing against a three so we worked on a four um, but obviously we turned up for three so the analysts took a little bit of credit they take a bit of credit because um, because they obviously shown the players five or six minutes before in the hotel and, and obviously a few things that we worked on or we spoke about actually worked in the game and Otis Khan enjoyed himself against his former club. Yeah, I mean, listen, I took a little bit of criticism on, on Tuesday. Um, I don't know why people keep tagging me on Twitter. I don't even go on Twitter, even over an account. But, um, you know, saying, why have I made two changes? Why have I done this? Why have I done that? And I'm like, because I want to see certain players in certain positions under pressure. I knew for a fact, all the way on a Tuesday night, is they're going to be full throttle, they're going to be in your face. And I wanted to see how certain players react to that. Because there's no point me doing it with two games to go and we're 100% safe. And it's a nice sunny afternoon in, at the end of April. And everybody can play well in them games. So I wanted to, to put it out there for information purposes. And when we put up and we get decisions like that right, it'll save us a lot of money in the transfer market. So um, now Otis for me is a midfield player. You know, we signed him as a right back in January. For me, he's not a right back, um, especially in this league when his diags and his physicality and his um, high balls and it can be physically, you need to be able to deal with it. So um, Otis, obviously, we put him back to an eight today. And the four games that he's played as an eight, we've won all four. So. Um, I think I'll be playing as eight in the future. And is he a goal scorer? Is he claiming that one? Um, well, it was. A, it was a, people say it was a well worked corner. We, we worked on that, but it was a little bit of a different variety. So we got lucky in that moment, um, and obviously the deflection takes it away. So, but again, we um, we had a couple of deflections and things that went against us against Oldham, but we didn't deserve them because we didn't work hard enough. We deserved everything tonight today because of the work rate that we set. The high press was so effective, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean that's what we want. I mean. Listen, I'm asking Harry Smith, who's six foot four, to, to press. And I wouldn't do that if I didn't think he was capable of it. The fact that he blows up after 60 minutes is because he's not used to it. OK, so if we can get used to it and, and get it for 60 minutes at full pelt and then get to 70 minutes and then we come bring him back pre-season, we work on his fitness and his intensity levels, then we've got a play on our hands because he's he's big target man, he's great finish um, for his goal. And once he can start a press off for us, along with Drinan and, 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 and Ruel or whether it be Paul Smythe or Theo, and obviously, uh, Harry will be a massive asset to us. Is Will Soteria OK? No, again, again, people moan about the changes. I didn't want to play Ruel on, on Tuesday night because he's a young player that has never, ever been subjected to this intensity and this amount of games on the run. And you run the risk of injury. We play him today. He's looked a little bit leggy at times, but he's such a good player that we want to play him. We have to make sure that we manage players' minutes. We, For me, we've got... A, a team that could, is capable of doing really well that next year. We need a bigger squad. The captain led by example, yeah, Dan different McCrattley. Class. Different class, but it's, but it's nothing that we don't we don't expect. Obviously, I've moved him from a holding midfield player to an eight. He sets the press off. He's very clever. You know, they change to a diamond with about 15, 20 minutes over the first half. Again, because he's used to tactical knowledge at Swansea, then he, he's quite adverse to just changing and flicking a switch and, and, and doing that. It just causes a problem then with our wingers tucking on the outside of their diamond and leaving and leaving the fullback. So, again, tactically, he's very good. Um, I think in the last, last seven or eight minutes, he was running in treacle. His legs, his legs had absolutely gone, so hence we gave him a little bit of a rest. Probably could have done it earlier, but you loathe to take his experience out of there because he's always in the right position. And the defence and Lawrence Figaro who deserved that clean sheet? Again, I can't really think of you coming here. Walsall have started really well under Mike Flynn here at home. And I can't remember them having Viggs to make a shot, maybe down low, which was from an angle. It was quite a comfortable save. So, again, I'll go back to up on Tuesday night at Oldham. Our press was so good that our back four don't, don't have to work as, well, as much. So, um, I think a lot of the times today our back four was pretty comfortable. The travelling support enjoyed it. Again, we deserve, again, I'll take the criticism. I don't mind, but it has to be constructive, OK? Richie's made five changes. Well, why have I made five changes? Well, because I have to give players a, a, a fair opportunity and I have to evaluate the whole squad. I can't make decisions on players in training. I can't make players decision on players in friendlies, or which will end up being friendlies the last two or three games of the season. 
I want to put them in and amongst it because if you want to win titles, if you want to win leagues or win promotions, you need to play under stress and your decision making needs to be be um, be of a level that you, you're consistent. So I made them um, some changes, but um, you know the, the fans went to Oldham and seen a poor performance. They've travelled today and they've seen a, what I think was a really, really effective, solid away performance. It's certainly 